What's up, up guys? guys? Thanks for joining us for our craft video today. Today, we are going to be making paper snakes. Paper snakes. Hey guys, today we're making paper snakes. All you're going to need is construction paper, notebook paper, computer paper, any paper you can find. Any okay? paper? Any paper. Any paper. Construction paper works best because it's a little thicker and uh, it's not going to tear you. So, what we did is, we took a piece of construction paper and we folded it in fours, okay? Fold it long ways, like this, and you're going to fold it again. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to give you creases. Hopefully, you can see those. And now, what you're going to do, this is your template, okay? You're going to take a stack of paper. Okay, Reggie, I'm going to have you do this. Okay. okay? Ready? Ready. Okay. You're going to take a stack of paper. Make sure the snake doesn't attack me. It's okay. It's okay. Let's, we haven't fed in today, so just make sure. Stay, stay, yeah, stay, stay right there, snake. Okay. You're going to take a stack of paper. Okay. Here's your template. Alright. All right. Okay. You're going to put that on top. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that they're lined up and stacked good. Okay. So then you're going to take your scissors. And all you're going to do is you're going to cut the creases. Those are your lines. One. So I can pick whatever color I want my snake to be. Whatever color you want. And then make a... Okay, cool. So I'm going to so You can pick, pick color patterns. You can pick one color. Okay. So I'll one. do... Red. White. I'll do it all. And blue. Red, white, and blue. Make a patriotic... America. Patriotic dragon. That's right. Or snake. Or snake. Now remember kids, if you want to have your loop, you're going to make one. Start out with making one. Then you're going to take your other one. Stick it through and wrap it just like you have it. And then you're going to take a piece of tape, put it on top just like that. There's your first link. Now right. he's going to end up making quite a few here. So just so you guys can see what I'm doing, um, obviously we have scissors, so whoops, I lost the paper. Uh, we want to be super duper careful, right? Yep. Um, so, we want to make sure our fingers are out of the way. If you notice what I'm doing, I'm laying my, I'm not holding my papers up. If I hold my papers up, they might shift around and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep my paper down on the table, using one hand very carefully to hold it down, and then start cutting. Now there's another way I'll show you guys how to cut. And you can do this way if you have good hand-eye coordination and control. If your mom or dad is okay with you cutting the second way. All right, this is pretty easy on the table. I like doing this second way because the second way is a lot smoother. It can be. So if you look, I'm going to hold my scissor like this, right? Be careful not to grab the blade. If I grab the blade, I'm going to cut myself and that's not safe. So I'm going to hold the blade like this, start from the top of the paper, and again watching my, my fingers, my fingers that are holding the paper down, and then I'm just going to slide along the cut. And what that's going to do, do it a couple times. Well, it's more paper one thousand. But what it's going to do is, That's okay. if I increase the paper, maybe I increase the paper a little more. Yeah, increase the paper a little more. Anyway. But if I had done that, yeah, it would have, it would slice right through the paper, right? Maybe it's because the scissors aren't that sharp. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to finish cutting it the normal way because apparently that works better for you. Um, I'm doing. You guys can see I'm doing something a little bit different from Ranger Aaron. I'm using a stapler. All right. So for me, it's a little quicker, but. Whatever you have at home, you can just be using that. Yep. Okay. So you're going to end up something like this. Now remember guys, we're not just looking for you to make a paper chain. Okay? No. Paper chains are cool. But Ranger Aaron, what are we asking them to make? Dragons. Dragons snakes. or snakes. Dragons, snakes. Or even, we didn't put this on your gui camper guidebook, but you could make a lizard. Lizard. Right? Caterpillar. Yep. Um, what we want to see is like design, cool designs. We want to see faces. If you guys look, yep. our snake here has a tongue and some eyes. Uh, we just want to see how creative you guys can get with this cool project because there's a lot of cool, interesting things you can do uh, with your snake guy. But I'm almost done here. I'm actually really excited because so I kind of follow what Ranger Aaron advised me to do. I fold it over once this way, and then I fold it in half. Oh. Over again, over again, line up these two edges here. And now what I have at the end is some creases. And to make this look like a dragon's wing, what I am going to do is kind of fold it 
insides a little bitty bit. Or you can hang up each other if you really want to do it. Alright guys, Ranger Ethan has drawn his face, stapled his wings, he now has a dragon. So I can see what it looks like right there. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome right here. Maybe I should, if I put the wings on the top, maybe. Top, maybe. Yeah. All right, I'm going to make my dragon fly over there. And here it is, guys. The final finished project of my dragon. Now, I know that some of you guys can do a much better job than this. So, we are excited to see what you guys come up with.